today on Phoenix Point. Oh, yes. Overwatch kill. Yeah, that's murder. Right there. Nice. Oh, there we go. Okay, that was not... There we go. That's better. That was exactly what we wanted. Welcome back to Phoenix Point, where we are continuing to fight the Pandora virus. And per usual, we're going to start our episode today by making sure that everybody is equipped and uh, leveled up and, and so forth. So let's start with Arena. She, again, we, we don't have ammunition for this because we don't, we can't research the, or we haven't researched the Pythagoras yet. We're going to talk about this in a minute because I'm not sure we're going to have to research the Pythagoras for reasons I'll explain in a moment. Arena only has 10 points. I'm uncertain whether I want to dig in for four points to the Phoenix pool. So let's move on to Takeshi, who we're going to spend his 15 of his 16 points on willpower because I, I like that 15 willpower point break point. So that's where we're going to leave him for now. We'll come back to equipment, but he has five shots left on this rifle that we can't produce ammo for. So uh, similar to the sniper, the laser sniper rifle from Synedrian, I'm not sure we're going to need to research it. And I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, Omar, he has 26 points. We've been sitting on some of his points. We probably need to multi-class him, but I'm not sure yet what I want to do. And But we also know we're going to want to spend the 20 points on this Boom Blast. What I am going to do is I'm going to drop some points into his willpower because he already has this War Cry thing, although we haven't used it the last couple episodes. And this Boom Blast that we're going to get, it uses five will points. So that's pretty darn expensive. So we want to at least start pumping his willpower up. We're going to leave him at 13 willpower and we'll sit on these 13 points. Equipment wise, by the way, Omar is completely fine. So with Sophia, she was down to zero in her magazine. So we just used our final magazine of this uh, of this Demos ARL ammunition. So she's now full. So she has 10 shots, which is going to be fine. We're going to research this thing or solve this problem before she runs out. She has 42 points. Uh, so we're going to come back to her in a second. So Jacob's using our bulldog. He is fine equipment wise. I think the next thing we're going to pick with Jacob is the strongman one. So we're going to sit on his points because I certainly don't want to spend 15 points of uh, the Phoenix pool. Anastasia leveled up, so he has a bunch of points to spend. I love this idea of him being able to be close quarters, but he really has other needs first. So man, is it willpower or strength yeah, or, or speed? Gosh, he needs everything. Let's give him a point of speed because movement is so important. I feel like strength, the safety of extra hit points is more valuable to us than the extra uh, willpower. I think he's less likely to panic and we're, we won't use all of his will points typically for his quick game. So I think he's pretty good. Uh, Tyler is still sitting there. We're going to try to figure out something to do with these guys because they could be sitting there gaining experience at a, at a university. Uh, but I'm not sure what we can do with them yet. Uh, Barbara is sitting at Phoenix Point. So this... I want to fix today because we have the university set up. So I think we're going to pick her up and take her down there and just plop her there for now. And that is, and Elsa, the uh, Elsa obviously is our newest recruit. She's sitting at avionics. We're just going to equip her right now. She's a heavy. Elsa is all set. She can't do anything. We can't do anything with her yet, or we're not going to. What I want to do is let's go back here. What I want to do is get her on the Manticore 2 and I want one more recruit so we have a team of five and then we're going to go. That also gives us time for Kirill to get his weapon back because we're doing a little reverse engineering on that. So we were working on Sophia. Was it Sophia who had a bazillion points? Yes. She obviously is going to take ready for action, which is, as far as I'm concerned, the greatest uh, skill in the game. <laughs> We want to give her, we want to give her some more speed. Yeah, that's where we're going to end. She'll sit on those four points. That's great. And the other thing, if you remember, oh, it's actually over here. Omar, we gave him this shotgun, this Iconoclast shotgun that we picked up from, was it a Haven invasion? I'm not sure what it was, but we picked up this uh, Anu shotgun. We had, we didn't actually have a chance to use it last mission. In fact, Omar didn't really do much of anything last mission. The next thing, going back to what I mentioned before, is... I'm not sure we need to reverse engineer this Demos or this Pythagoras because we have laser weapons. And so my reading of this is, or my optimistic reading of this is, perhaps because Synedrian really likes us, 
they have given us this technology we can research and it will magically give us access to all of their laser weapons. So we're going to put this in the research queue. That'll be at the bottom. Let's see. It's only 13 hours, which is awesome. So we're going to bump it to the top, though we're not going to leave it there. Sentient AIs, if you recall, gives us uh, additional research by 50%. So that's that's our main focus. And then this thing, this is a crossbow. I don't know if it's a laser weapon, but we're only two hours away. So I just figure let's finish this one. And if laser weapons doesn't give us the arrows and the Pythagoras, then we'll follow the plan I've outlined for the last couple episodes. And then meanwhile, this is Kirill's spider drone thing. We may move this out of order, but this way at least some research on it is being done. We have the gift in five more days. Uh, oh yes, and we have this active Pandoran structure. So today's mission, hopefully, is gonna to be to take out this nest. But what I wanna do first, I'm, I'm hoping we can wait a little bit. What I wanna do first is take Manticore 1 over here. Let me just go take a look at Manticore 2. So we're going to send Manticore 2 back here to pick up, what's her name? <laughs> Whose name I've already forgotten, how embarrassing. To pick up Elsa. That way she's on the Manticore. I mean, not that it matters that much. So let's uh, hit play. Let's go personnel and put Elsa on the Manticore. And then we'll go back here and let's go to Manticore 1. And we're still headed over here. Is there anything we need to keep an eye on? I don't think so. Okay, now who is the most damaged? Arena. Uh, let's see, wait. Arena, you are at 168 of 230. Somebody else was damaged too. You're at 220 of 230. You're 156 of 230, Jacob. Okay, let's take Jacob off this manticore. Oops. Okay, we're going to take Jacob off the manticore. So we're going to transfer him to Phoenix Point. And we're going to transfer Barbara to manticore 1. Then we're going to go down here. This is just sort of administrative work. We are going to move to Phoenix University. And then we'll probably do some trading on the way back. Okay, and then let's go. It makes me nervous to know this nest is here. Oh, hold on. We completed advanced nanotech and mist repeller development? Wait a second, hold on. Oh, no, they did. Synedrian completed that. I'm not sure what benefit that is to us. We're almost done with sentient AIs. So now we're going to go here personnel. We're going to drop Barbara at Phoenix University because if you recall, Phoenix University has two training facilities. So she's going to be able to get two, uh, see, look, oh, four experience points per hour just sitting here. We'll still have to, she's not going to earn any skill points, but so we'll have to spend the Phoenix points, the Phoenix pool. But at least now she's not just sitting there useless like the folks at Phoenix Avionics. Now we're going to take Manticore 1. And we're going to do some trading. We're going to work our way back up to Phoenix Point, and then we'll probably start our mission. But on the way, I'm going to do some trading, so I will skip that for you. So I'll see you when we're back at Phoenix Point. Okay, we're back. This has started happening. Forbidden Frequency. Message. We've received an automated emergency transmission from a new Jericho science facility. The message is composed of the word overrun, repeated in loop. Tracking down the location of the transmission has revealed some security footage. And then that must have been what we saw, although it was pretty blank. Uh, site added to the Geoscape overrun. So, new Jericho continues to expand its military capabilities. This time with a new class of soldier. The technician. Robotic arms, cranial input hubs. It all sounds very impressive, and we are not exactly opposed to this development. But we do wonder, when is New Zarico going to invest in anything other than war? I'm guessing never, but thank you, Citizen Athena. Yes, we need to achieve some kind of peace. And we in Synedrion aren't unwilling to fight. But winning is more than just building the biggest army. To win, we need a functional infrastructure. We need people who can plan. We need a system that works. Yes, okay, sure. Pretty much everybody who comments regularly made some suggestions about what we want to do for endings and factions and so forth. And how the, the, one of the things that's really cool about Phoenix Point is that there are multiple endings and you can pit the different factions against each other. So right now, 
uh, you can see, as you, if you've been watching uh, the episodes, you know that we are really befriending Synedrian, and my intention is to try to befriend Disciples of Anu. New Jericho, I'm giving up on. So what that means for us is that uh, we are going to raid them or try and get their technology some other way, maybe finding on the battlefield, like some of the stuff we already have. Uh, like I think the assault rifle that Jacob is using is... Let's find Jacob. I think it's a new Jericho model. Yeah, this Gauss assault rifle. So the only way we're going to get this is by raiding them or finding it on the battlefield like we did in this case. So anyway, that's our situation. I'm going to see how close we can get to 100%. Uh, these guys really don't like one another, but that's okay. Let's see what let's see what happens. This is kind of the fun of it. Uh, we've got uh, one hour left on laser weapons, so we're going to find out the answer to whether we need to reverse engineer the Synedrian laser, other laser weapons after that. We also did a bunch of trading. I don't actually remember what the numbers were before we started traveling uh, back up here, but I stopped everywhere and traded uh, materials for food and food for materials wherever I could. I didn't go to this one. Uh, this is where the gift is, and we're going to go there soon. So we are sort of set to go. Let me just check where we are in recruits. Okay, we haven't even passed a full day. We did finish researching sentient AIs, which supposedly gives us 50% more research output. I don't know that it has because, because this doesn't seem any faster. I think this was 13 hours anyway, but maybe I'm wrong. This might have been 18 or 19. We also finished this Eros CRB-3, which is the crossbow that Kirill uses, and we're manufacturing one for Kirill because, of course, that got consumed during the research. So now we are going to put Jacob back on the Manticore 1, and he's set to go. I wonder if I can move these guys around. I would I would love to move them around. I would like to group everybody together because I'm anal like that. But whatever. Doesn't matter. We are going to find out... Okay, so we want to go here, but in one hour we're going to find out the answer to the laser weapons question. So instead, I'm going to take the Manticore 1 and I'm going to go here and do some trading. And we'll just not do the gift yet. Okay, we're not going to start this mission. This is the gift. We're going to do trading here. And we're just going to trade apples for materials. Okay, now we're getting a little uncomfortably low on apples, but so it's not really a problem. Uh, it, it is if we want to recruit, though, from the personnel thing, and we still, I mean, we're not even close to that. Uh, speaking of which, let's look around and see... I don't imagine that anybody has popped up, but let's see if there's any new recruits. Nope, still nothing here, even though they can give us one. And of course, New Jericho is not going to give us one. It's too bad because I would love to get their heavy stuff. We we can see that we're still scanning. Is this at 100% now? It looks like it is. Yeah, I guess it is. So these are all within range of the base and we can go explore these things. But uh, in fact, maybe, maybe I'm less concerned about ambushing now that there's four of them on the Manticore 2. And they are... Oh, Kirill needs a weapon. Right. Right. In fact, Kirill doesn't have anything because we took the Arachni off of him as well. Which we might give him back because this man, this is going to be manufactured in three hours. Okay, we're, we'll give it three hours. Let's go back to uh, Manticore 1. Hey, there we go. And while we're waiting a little bit, I guess we can go up to Disciples of Anu. So let's move here. We'll trade with them. Research complete. Okay, there we go. Aha! So my my hypothesis was correct. And by the way, there was a little bit of a hint, I think, that Kjotlik gave me that maybe maybe this is the case. So this is really, really cool. So we don't now we don't have to reverse engineer the Demos or the Pythagoras. We obviously already did the Hephaestus, but this is excellent. This is excellent. Now we can start manufacturing stuff for our friends here. And, and we can give them ammo. So let's do that right now before I forget. Oh, wait, did we finish... Oh, right, now we can manufacture these things. In fact, we're going to need a Pythagoras for Raphael, I think it is. But first, first things first. Let's go to Arena and give her some ammo. How much does she have? She has 6 of 15. See, that seems like kind of a waste. Okay, I'm not going to give her ammo yet. I know that seems so silly, but uh, how much is it to... Let's find out how much that ammo is on the Pythagoras. Pythagoras magazine. I mean, it's not a ton, but it's not nothing. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna 
give her ammo yet because we haven't used more than a couple sniper rounds in a single mission in quite a while. Takeshi, he still has five shots left. So again, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm concerned that if I hit this, no, I do want to give him, well, we're going to find out if he gets a whole new magazine. Yes, yeah, see that reloaded him. I'm not super pleased about that, but I'm not going to give him an extra magazine. Uh, nothing here. The Demos, oh, this is so great. I'm so excited now by these laser weapons. You have eight of 15 left, so I'm not going to make that same mistake. We'll preserve those resources. Maybe that's being a little bit fiddly. I'm not really certain. This is all clear. These are clear. So why don't we go kind of clockwise? We'll go around this way. Actually, no, we're going to go this way because the ocean is here. So we're going to send Manticore 2 over here. I'm going to tell you to move. We're going to go back to Manticore 1. And you know what? Let's just go do today's mission, which is going to be take out this Pandoran nest. Oh, let's see where Overrun is, though. Overrun is here. It's a new Jericho settlement, but we have nine days, so we're not going to worry about it. Uh, let's go back to Manticore 1. And... Okay. Attack Pandoran Nest. Threat level is medium. Obviously, they're Pandorans. And everybody loves us more when we finish it. So we have to uh, eliminate the hatching sentinels. Okay, and then it's infinite reinforcements. Let's do it. I think everybody's ready. You're not fully healed because I took you... Actually, why did I take you? I should have left you to heal. There was no reason to... All right, well, Arena's going to come in hurt, which is lame. I could have just let her rest like I did with Jacob. Okay, because of my screw-up, we've given Arena an extra uh, an extra med kit. Uh, it's just dumb. It's just not thinking. Let's go. Okay, we're going to look around. What's that? Is that an egg? Mindfragger egg. Okay. Oh, right. Of course, we can't see anything. There's no reason to look around. So let's zoom in. And we know there's an egg there. Let's move. Who is in front here? Is that Jacob? Okay, we're going to move Jacob here. Okay, so you can only see that Mindfragger. I assume he can just destroy this. Oh, he can't necessarily... I mean, he might, but it's not a guaranteed kill. And as we learned last time, it doesn't matter how much damage you do to the egg. If the Mindfragger hatches, they get all new hit points. So why don't we... We're going to move him here. See if we can see anybody else. Okay, he didn't spot anybody else. I don't know how close is too close. Oh, this is interesting. He can't see... He can't see the Mindfragger from here? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Oh, but that is in fact the case. Okay, let's move from Jacob over. This is Takeshi. Let's move to Takeshi. Where are you? There you are. Okay, we're going to have Takeshi move here. Wait, now why? It's a little bit weird. Already there. Yeah, okay, Takeshi. We're going to just fire on this thing. Oh, now, oddly, Takeshi can kill this thing. Go. See you in the next life. Yes, see you in the next life. Nicely done, Takeshi. A tiny bit of movement. Eight. That's just so annoying. Okay, we're going to move him here. He can't overwatch. We're going to have Jacob overwatch in this direction. Let's I'm have loud and clear. Sophia move here. Let's do this. She can't see anybody? We know there's a, a generator here, so we want to be cautious about covering that. Or we want to be sure to cover that, I guess. Uh, let's move... Where's Arena? Arena and Anastasia. Okay. Arena. We're going to move you here. And Takeshi can't overwatch, so we're going to move Anastasia. Uh, now this is actually... Can, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to move... I think I moved Arena too far. Is she on her pistol? Is that why? Oh, no. No. So she can still fire? She still has three action, full action points? Okay. Oh, right. Because you have fewer movement points. Right. Yes, you have quite... Oh, Jacob has 20. Uh, let's, this is weird that I can't hover... Yeah, Arena has 20 movement. So that's, that's the problem with Anastasia. He just can't move as much. Okay. And then let's move Omar up. We're just going to walk him up. 
Uh, let me think. Okay, I think we're going to head in this direction, ultimately. So we're going to move Omar here so he can take a blow. Here. If a mind fragger comes? No, I don't know. I don't even know. And then we're going to have... Our plan arena is to have you overwatch in this direction. Thank you very much. Oh, you know what? Wait a minute. Yes, you can overwatch with this. Then that's what we want to do. We want to kill anything that comes this way. Is there anything over here? Actually, this might be a dead end. I'm on overwatch. Okay. And Jacob... Jacob can move more and still shoot. Okay. That was, ah, okay. We're actually going to... Now, does that activate this? Yes, it's preparing. Oh, damn. That was, uh, that was a mistake. Okay. 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 That's bad. I don't see any... Are these all eggs? Oh, we might be in trouble. Oh. <sighs> Beeped. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do what we can. It was already preparing. I mean, we know it's alerted. Okay, that changes the plan. Arena? Oh, I had you overwatch. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, can Anastasia do... We move here. Where can you go? Okay, you're gonna move here. And you're gonna shoot... Oh, see, this is not going to do all that much damage because of that armor. That hurt, oh, 44. It? Not terrible. Yeah, it, I think it did hurt. We are going to actually use quick aim so that he can fire again. Aiming. Yes. Okay, another 44. I'm not sure what else we can do. I guess we will have him... I mean, I could use more of his action points. That seems extreme. But, but this is bit of a screw up here. If a mind Got fragger comes this way, she's covered. Or he's covered. Omar, you don't have the points to do anything. Channel open. And Sophia, you do. Oops. Okay, that's everybody. That's everybody. Let's go. That was really bad. Oh. There were no eggs? Oh, because... These aren't actually... Oh, Triton Wretch. Oh, that was nice. Okay, it disappears. Right, the wretches disappear. Pandoran Supplemental Shroud. Shrouding allows Pandorans to disappear and hide when injured. We read about that when we learned about the wretch. Oh, Mindfragger. Okay. Okay, we spotted that Mindfragger. Okay, so that was good. I was a little confused. I thought these were eggs, but of course, no, they're not eggs. They... Uh, the eggs we saw. We took one out, in fact. So, we know there's a Triton Wretch hiding here. I'm not sure how to expose it, which is a little bit concerning, but maybe what we do is we bring Omar over here because he can kind of take a, uh, a hit. But why don't we first see what Sophia can do with this Mind Fragger? So we're going to take Sophia. Loud and clear. Uh -huh. Taking aim. And she... Oh, yeah, she can take this Mind Fragger out entirely. Okay. Mind, mind Fragger's eliminated. And she still has two points left, so she could overwatch in this direction. And we did see that the Triton Wretch came from here, so that's exactly what I'm going to have her do. She's going to overwatch in this direction to cover our butts. We are going to take Jacob now. I don't know what we can do about that Triton Wretch that disappeared. I don't even know how to prepare for it. So let's see what Jacob can do Ready to fire. on this guy. I mean, that's a lot of damage. I don't think Anastasia... Here. I don't think Anastasia can just kill it outright because I don't think his weapon does enough. Oops, oops, that's the wrong weapon. Hold on. Yeah. Right, he can't kill this thing outright. He can do a ton of damage. So who do we want to give the kill to? I think we want to give the kill to Anastasia so, because, so he gets more skill points. So we're going to... Uh, fire. Free aim. Gotcha. Okay, and so he can fire again. Which, of course, will kill it. But we want to give that kill to Anastasia. So let's go, Anastasia. Engaging. I, I guess it's based on damage, not just who gets the kill. Can he kill this thing with his pistol? 
You can. Okay, hatching sentinel down. And he got three will points. Oh, I guess I could have used free aim, a quick aim. Oh no, I used it before, so that was good. So we know there's a wretch over here. I don't know how to make them appear unless we toss a grenade. Ooh. You know, Jacob has two. No, let's do it with Anastasia. Yeah, let's have Anastasia. We know the Triton wretch disappeared over here. Let's let's see if this works. Uh, it seems to do nothing. Okay. All right. Well, lesson learned. Maybe. Maybe I learned a lesson. I'm not really certain. And wait, let's make sure Jacob's on the right weapon. Okay. Uh, man. Okay. I still think we want to head in this direction. Because we know the wretch came from here. So we're going to take Arena and move her here. Moving to position. And we're going to overwatch with her and her sniper rifle. Sophia is going to overwatch in this direction. In case anybody shows up. I'm also kind of inclined to have Omar do the same thing. Because he can move with his jump. So why don't we move to... Ke oh, we're on Omar? No, I want to move to Keshi first. We're going to move to Keshi here. Yep. Already there. Okay, he's already there. Which is good. Okay, so all these guys are going to overwatch. Uh, and we will have... Yeah, let's have Omar... I'm here. Wait, when we do jump him... Yeah, he can jump pretty far. Although not as far as I would have thought, actually. Okay, that's okay, though. I'm going to move him here, because I'd rather he be hit than Sophia. I'm repositioning. Okay, good, good. And then we're going to have you overwatch. I'll if somebody comes up there. Eyes open. Okay, good. Definitely keep both eyes open. That's important. Okay, Takeshi... You are going to overwatch. Really kind of scared of that that Triton wretch because it it just sort of disappeared. I don't like that. Not and not sort of. Me. It did disappear. Uh, Arena, you are also going to overwatch. I got this covered. Good. I'm glad you do. Jacob, you are going to overwatch. I might be playing this a little too cautious. But I'm not sure there's such a thing as too much caution. And then Anastasia... You also, oh, you also can Overwatch. So let's see what happens. Taking point. Hey, everybody's Overwatching. Let's go. Oh, interesting. Oh, I might have been able to get the wretch. Oh, the wretches can shoot. I forgot about that. Perception. A character's perception determines the distance and tiles from which the unit can spot a human-sized enemy. Perception is modified by the lighting conditions, mist, size, and stealth value of the enemy. Stealth. The stealth value of a character modifies the perception of enemies. The more stealth a character has, the more difficult they'll be to be spotted. Stealth is affected by the armor worn and some special abilities. Okay. Did you miss both times? Because you suck? Are you shooting again? Oh, here comes somebody else coming around this corner. And somebody else coming around this corner. Oh. Did you see that? Okay, this is uh, a shield bearer. Because he deployed his shield, or they deployed their shield. I don't even think they're gendered. So let's get a better look at this wretch. They have... Right, they become invisible when dealt damage. All weapon attacks are silent. Oh, I didn't know that they could spawn. Oh, I didn't recall that they could do that. Okay. I thought they could just turn themselves invisible, but they have to actually be hit. So we need... Uh... Boy, these guys, somebody can spawn from here and come up our rear, and then same thing, there's like more stuff here. But we know there are enemies in this direction, so we have to we have to take that into account. We also obviously want to get this guy. How much health do you have? 140. This actually would be, I was going to say this would be perfect for Sophia and her virus, but that's not actually true. Uh, but with, okay, no, Arena, you're there. Wait, but Anastasia, you're closer, right? Yeah, so Anastasia... If you shoot this guy, okay, you can't right now. Wait, can Arena? Channel open. No, but she can move. Aha. She can move here and do it. Getting out. Okay, good. Now she can shoot it. Oh, she can even quick aim. Does that help her? Maybe, if we want to finish it off, although I'm hoping to make it bleed. We can quick aim with the pistol if we want. Okay, let's free aim here. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, we're going to disable the pain chameleon. Whoops. 
Oh, we took out its Mista arm, so it can't actually mist. That's kind of neat. Okay, 100 damage. So it should have very few... Yeah, it has 40 left. So she can use her pistol. We can give this kill to her. Oh, she has a... Oh, we can quick aim with her. Oh, hmm. Yeah, okay. And then she's going to get the will back anyway. Let's do that. Oh, yes. Very nice, Arena. Oh, it dropped something. Oh, it dropped something. Okay. I don't remember if it said all the stuff would be collected, but I think this is a not collected mission. We will have her Overwatch. She can do it for free with the biggest possible cone. There we go. Okay. So she's all set in that direction. We're going to head up in this direction with these other guys. I'm going to have Jacob dash. So we can get a good look at these. You can't see them? Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay, I'm going to move him here. There we go. What did he spot? He spotted... Yeah, well, that we knew was there. That shield bearer. Shield bearer alpha. Is that different from what we, 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 we know about? Does the alpha have anything extra? I don't think so. Maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, they're already lacking will points. Okay. But I do want to move him up. I don't know if we're going to be able to see that guy. You know what? We're going to take this chance. There we go. Okay. So this is a triton of some sort. Triton thug. They can move... A good amount. Okay, what can he... Oh, yeah, you don't have a good shot on him. Let's look at the other guy. See, this could be good. This is going to be a problem. This is going to be a problem. I almost want to dash him back. He has two left. Okay, let's see what we can do with this grenade. Taking action. Alright, that's not bad. Let's do that. Okay, that is some good damage. That is some good damage. They lost some will. Oh, this one lost five? Is that what that said? What? What? That was weird. Maybe there's somebody back here we didn't see. I thought I saw something about losing five will points. Oh, yes. So this is now their maximum amount of will points, I guess. Yeah. What did we do to you? We disabled your head armor. You can shoot, huh? Oh, that's right. You have the shotgun. Oh, we want to get another one of those. So we can reverse engineer while equipping our guys. So we can hit your arm and leg. Still have a good deal of hit points. Okay. Now let's look at you. You're bleeding 20, but you have just a boatload of hit points. We disabled your head and your arm. That didn't take out your shield, though. But if we took out your other arm, right, that would take out... Oh, that's very interesting. Okay, well, Jacob can't do anything else. So we need to bring somebody else over here. What can Takeshi do? Can't wait. Oh, you know what? Takeshi can dash. That's what Takeshi can do. Okay, that gives him much more flexibility. I'm, I'm almost inclined to hit him with another grenade. I am inclined to do that. Let's see what we can do if we're firing. Aiming. Oh, this is actually kind of incredible. He's taking 20 points of... Oh, we already got your head, though. Can we get to... That will make you bleed more. Target hit. You're bleeding 20. You have 61 left. Okay. I'm just going to go grenade crazy this, this round. Anastasia doesn't have a grenade anymore. So that's not great. I forgot about that. Okay, we're going to move him here. We aim with him. If we can hit him here, he's going to bleed out. Oh, we missed. We missed. We'll free aim again. Okay, now he's going to bleed out, right? Yeah, he's going to bleed out. So that's perfect. So now we can... Do you still have another point? No, but he can overwatch. Okay, let's make sure we did everything we could with those guys. We did. Okay, we are going to have Arena pick this thing up next round. We're going to have Sophia... Receiving loud and clear. With you? How far can you get? You can get all the way over here. Do I want to do that? Okay, we're going to dash with Sophia. Good there. Now we should be able to get her here and overwatch with her. So let's do that. 
this thing that that uh, this Triton can still shoot. This Triton thug can shoot, so he may just shoot Takeshi, but we'll see what happens. And that leaves Omar. Omar, you can jump to where? Oh, that's not okay, but you can run to where? Oh, you can run much further than you can jump? I guess maybe because the ceiling is low here? I'm going to put him here, I think. So he can back up Arena if she finds something. Next turn. Okay, let's go. Oh no, it regenerated its head. Yeah. Oh yes. Overwatch kill. Very nice. Who was that, Sophia? That was very nice, Sophia. Let's go. Okay, we know there's somebody moving here. Mm -hmm. Okay, they might be making our jobs easier for us because they seem to be coming... Oh, they kind of disappear, but they seem to be coming over here. So let's move. I'm going to take Takeshi. How much willpower do you have? You have plenty. Okay, we're moving you up here. I don't know if they can spawn when we're so close to it. Oh, we know there's somebody in here. Let's move to Keshi here. Right there. Enemy spotted. Oh, very nice. Very nice. That's what we were looking for. Can you shoot this Ready guy? To engage. Okay, that's not the greatest shot. It's not the greatest shot. Can we improve that a little bit and still have you shoot? Where's your No. No, we cannot. Okay. Fine. Then we're gonna I guess we're gonna take this shot. Unless we want to. No, I think we're going to overwatch, and if this guy... Wait, because this guy can shoot? Oh yeah, this guy can shoot. They have the Disciples Van or Shotgun. But they have to get pretty close to shoot. Okay, great. So we're going to... Takeshi can overwatch. Uh, Sophia is back more. Here is Jacob. Jacob can get closer. I'm not sure I want to, because they can't shoot from very far. So if we put him here... Wait, can he see from here too? Okay, good. That's because we're going to move somebody there. So we don't need to dash with him. He's going to overwatch. We need to find that other hatching sentinel. Oh, I assume there's only one. I don't know why I'm making that assumption. Let's take Sophia. You we need to dash with because we want to get you up here. And then we can put you here. Yes. And then Anastasia. I'm going to put you here. No, we'll put you. Oh, oh, you can't get past our friends. Okay, then that's where you're going. And let's take Arena and just get her up here. Yeah, that's as far as she can Make go. And then we're going to take Omar and do the same thing. Omar. Yeah, you need more movement points, my friend. Okay, so everybody can overwatch except for Omar. So, so, so Arena, it's not going to be a great shot. So we'll wait until that guy comes in a little. Let's do Jacob. You're going to overwatch... I think the thing has to come in pretty close. So if it moves a little, I think it has to come close to, to shoot. That's the bet I'm making. And then we're not going to, with Anastasia, we're only going to do this. Actually, here, we'll do this. Nothing will get past okay. me. Good. That's what we want. We want nothing to get past you. And Takeshi. You have kind of the clearest shot on this guy. Okay. So if that thing moves and doesn't just shoot, then we should be taking him out. Oh, what? Oh, there we go. Okay, that was not... There we go. That's better. That was exactly what we wanted. That was exactly what we wanted. And here is a sentinel. Oh, no, sorry. That's the sentinel we took out. There's somebody over here. We know there's a spawner up here, which means there's a path in that direction. And we know there's somebody over here still milling around. Let's move Jacob, because he's kind of blocking traffic anyway. And he has nine will points. We need to get him a kill. No enemy spotted, huh? Okay. Still no enemy spotted. Okay, he's going to overwatch in this direction. For some reason, I thought there was a pass-through here. Uh, who is next? Who is next? 
Takeshi, you're next. You have nine as well. I want to conserve that. Moving yes. In. Okay. Because we can overwatch over Jacob there. Uh, Sophia, you have 17. Pushing on. And uh, since we can, we're going to do this with you. Okay, good. So she can overwatch in this direction. Jacob can overwatch in this direction. And then Takeshi can overwatch over them. And you can't go anywhere. Okay, that's not great. Uh, Anastasia, you're right there in that corner. How far can you move? Oh, you can't move that far if we want to use your sniper. So we'll move you here. We're actually going to move you way up as well. And it's just going to be Omar bringing up the rear. It's kind of annoying. I need to get him more movement. Wait, we know there's a guy there? What was that about? Where did you come from? We didn't know... What? When did this guy get exposed? I didn't... <sighs> All right. I almost want to just grenade this one dude. But that's not what we're going to do. I'm here. Omar, get your butt up here. You know what? Hold on a minute, Omar. We're going to move you to your shotgun. And then Arena, you're going to overwatch. And if this bastard, he can't shoot. So we can get him pretty close. So she can have a nice shot on him. And Jacob can do kind of the same thing. Yes. I'm on Overwatch. Yes, good, good. Glad you are. Yeah, I uh, he can't shoot, so we should be okay. Takeshi. Now this is a little harder. Basically, if he gets close to them, I want him... I want Takeshi to shoot him. And who is not overwatching? Anastasia. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. Yes, let's go. Let's see what this guy does. He should take a lot of Overwatch shots. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh boy. Wow. Yeah. Okay, he smacked us a little. He smacked us a little. But... Who got hit? Who's bleeding? Is that him who's bleeding? No, he hit Channel Jacob? Open. Yeah, Jacob got hit. Okay, did that guy hit two of us? Looks like Anastasia also got hit? No. Can't tell from these. Oh, that's Jacob's floater. This is this guy's floater? Yes. Okay. So can we get Omar up here? My turn. So the question becomes, Omar with a shotgun or Omar with his axe? Well, either way, we're doing Let's Omar. So if we... Let me see. One to 35 on 10 shots. It's a guaranteed kill with a shotgun. Or with his... Wait, what does that mean, shoot? 238 damage, 50 bleeding. Oh, this is also... Wait, let me... Yeah, that's murder, right there. Nice. And we saved ourselves some rounds. And we got Omar up here in the fray. And nobody's bleeding. Jacob took a little damage, but that's okay. Okay, let's go. Oh, they spawned behind us. Okay, that's less than ideal. Wish we could see this other... Oh man, are we stuck taking the longest possible way? We could have just come up... Oh man. Wait, where's that first... Yeah, we could have gone this way and I think get in there. Ah, oh, shoot. Well, there was no way we could have known that. Got this guy behind us. Oh, I do not like that. But Jacob should have a good shot on him. He's got his stupid shield in place. Omar. How far can you jump? 
not far enough. You can see that guy. For an angle. Okay, who has a grenade? Sophia. It's my turn. You can't do anything. Jacob, you don't have an extra grenade. No. But you could. Can Omar throw the grenade that far? I'm here. Oh, wait a second. Okay. Receiving loud and clear. Okay. Is it about not proficient? Yeah, okay. I'm not concerned about that. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's see what this does. So now, Omar. You need two points left. Before I move you, what does your weapon do? Your weapon does 60 by 3 versus Jacob has the Bulldog, 40 by 4. Jacob? Grenade on you? Okay, that... Knock that stuff down. Look, that thing wants to fall over. Oh no, it's it's gone. So let me see if that was of any use. Because it would mostly hit the shield, I think. Therapist, nothing. The shield is still there. Oh, what did he take out? Oh, some of the arm. And this okay, I'm not sure how useful that is. I wonder if we can take Omar, I'm here. equip this, and have this be an overwatch. It is not. Okay, but we could have him overwatch with this shotgun, which will pepper this guy. I like that idea. So we're going to move Omar here. And we'll have him overwatch with his shotgun. You are Anastasia. You can actually fire at this guy from here. This, is, this shield is so annoying. That hurt, didn't it? Yeah, I'm sure it did. I mean, taking out the shield, uh, maybe, maybe with the help of the shotgun. Fine. Failed to connect there. Uh, how did you miss that? Oh no, that's fine. Okay, no, that's what I wanted. I figured he would do some damage to the shield. Uh, you have thirteen. Oh, I should have. That's okay. All oh, right, it's okay. That's okay. Should have done two sniper shots. No, it's taking out the shield is going to be too hard. Uh, that was a mistake before. Do we miss altogether? Uh, these might be wasted shots. Let's try one more. Engaging. Really having a hard time determining whether they're wasted shots. Yeah, that no, that's all a waste. Okay, that's all a waste. Uh, let's set Omar. Oh, not yet, actually. All right, well, I guess it's better to fight the guy we know is here. So if we take Ready. Sophia, can she get... She can see this guy, but she's going to get whacked if if uh, he attacks next turn. Okay, we're going to take Sophia first. Yes, it's my turn. Yeah, it is. We're going to move... Oh, no, we can't move her there. Okay, I take it back. We're going to do... Yeah, no, no, no that, uh, that's right. And then we can move Takeshi past her. Yeah, let's see what we can do. Need I don't know that position. any of this is any good. She does have that grenade. Steady. Oh, see, the shield is just so effective. That was not... That was not great. That was not great. And now she's kind of in a jam. So if we take Takeshi... Yeah, we don't have a choice now. We have to take Takeshi there. Unless we're going to have Sophia just get hammered. We could throw his grenade. What is... And Omar still has point he can use for movement and then still shoot at it. Okay, he's no longer right beside Jacob, but Keep it together, she's right beside Takeshi. Okay, does this help us? I think Takeshi 33 by 6 or 50 damage taking out armor. Let's see what he can do. It just seems like all right, I'm going to take the shot. Yeah. Disable the head. Lost will points. Let's see the status. 55. Bleeding 10. We're not going to take it down by will points. 
willpower, excuse me. But we can take Omar and move him up here with that shotgun and see what we can do. Acquiring targets. It's all in the evolved shield. It's not great. I don't know. I don't know what this is going to do us any good. All right, let's just do it center mass, I guess. 25 damage. Did it do anything to the shield? No, I don't understand. Oh, because they're so little per shot. Couldn't get through the armor. Okay, I understand. Okay, no, okay, that, okay. Well, damn it, damn it. Arena, can you do anything? Can anybody else do anything? Jacob can still do something. Acquiring target. But this angle is so terrible. Nope. I couldn't connect the shot. No, that's all right. It was a hard shot, Jacob. Okay, that's a that's a no. All right, let's move her here and see what she can see if she aims. Oh. Oh. No, I don't want to hit the shield. I want to hit the leg. Yes, Arena, you complete rock star. Okay, this is just silly. Okay, somebody's coming up behind us. How do we get in here? Right here. Omar. Okay, let's send somebody past Omar. That would be Sophia. At this point, after 15 turns and nearly two hours, we find the last hatching sentinel. And boy, was I tired. Oh, god damn, need to stop with that right mouse button. Okay, we'll put Arena here. Try to get a couple shots on the Mindfragger egg. And Jacob is back there. We'll take Anastasia. How far? He can't go anywhere. Still do. Okay, we're going to try to take out this egg on this turn. Keshi. And then Jacob. Loud and clear. Jacob, we're just going to put you here. Targeting. It does not say it's preparing. So let's first see what we can do with this guy. Yeah. And you can't do What's anything because I screwed up. You have how many? Okay. We're going to take out this mind fragger egg. Hits. No problem. Eggs preparing. Yep. No problem. Are you preparing though? You're not. That's exactly what we want. Not a problem. We are going to first give everybody else a chance. Yeah, this, this mind fragger is going down. Ready. Wait. Yeah. No, it doesn't know we're here yet. So. Okay. And we know there's another guy over here. He's going to come run for us. We're going to take Jacob. And you're going to overwatch in this direction. Keshi can also do that. Right? Where is Jacob? Yes. I'll try to stop them. Okay, Anastasia. You can overwatch in this direction. Holding position. Arena can overwatch in this direction. I'm on overwatch. Anybody else? Sophia, you can't do anything. Omar, you can't do anything. Okay, let's go. Okay. I think we can take out the Sentinel this turn. We're going to take... This is Anastasia here. Yeah, we're going to take Anastasia. Put him on his sniper. We're going to move him here. I don't know if that gives him a decent shot, but we can always move him again if he needs to do his handgun. It does give him a good shot. Okay, let's do the head. Under 10 damage. We're going to be no problem. Yeah, you can prepare all you want. This is going to be our last turn. Okay, let's, uh, let's move Sophia. Yep, move you right there. Trying to reposition. Shoot with you. Okay. 
Okay. Just out of curiosity, these things have willpower? They do. Okay. Next, we want to give... You know what? Let's give some, some kills to Omar. Omar can't get past Anastasia. What's our plan? I mean, uh, Arena. So let's move Arena. How much health does this thing have left? Not much. Screw it. Arena, it's your kill. Okay, I think that's the mission. It is. Very nice. I mean, not very nice. Ridiculous. Okay, everybody got a decent amount of experience. And we did get 400 total experience. So, three people are injured because I played it badly. That was an embarrassingly bad mission. Let's go back to the Geoscape. Okay, and then we, we neutralize the nest. And everybody likes us more. Oh, what is this? They are letting us do more research. Synedrian is. So, adapting aircraft technology, the Aspida is capable of hover movement 45 centimeters from the ground, carrying one occupant at virtually infinite distances using existing fusion cell technology. In addition, the Aspida is equipped with automatic field surgery robotics usable anywhere in the field? Is it like an emergency helicopter? I don't know, I guess we'll find out. Poison weapons. A range of weapons has been designed capable of delivering powerful synthetic toxins. The effects of these toxins ranges from mild nausea to hallucinations to explosive diarrhea. That's sexy. Depending on the target's physiology and defenses, the tactical advantages of such unpleasant weaponry should be clear. The poison will affect humans as well as Pandorans, so we have to be careful. Advanced nanotech. These advanced nanobots, invisible to the naked eye but easily programmable via a portable control interface, can be used to automatically identify and eliminate a variety of threats to an operative's life, from fire to viral infection. To achieve this, however, they must be spread across the individual's clothing, hair, and skin, and also be ingested. There are no known side effects. That's cool, so it's kind of like built-in healing. It would appear that diplomatic relations between Synedrian and the Phoenix Project are improving. This seemed like a positive development to me, but I'm curious. Are you motivated by any kind of investment in our political and philosophical views, or are you just doing your job? Barnabas is the AI from Synedrian, so we got a choice here. We can get much more in bed with Synedrian, or we can kind of play the field. I, as I said at the outset of this episode, am planning to just nurse our relationship with Synedrian, so we're going with that. So you are a potential ally. Not merely fighting the Pandorans, but attempting to realize a specific vision of the future. I will admit that I had hoped for this. As a token of our appreciation, let me share some valuable data with you. Okay, we got 190 gears. Unfortunately, it costs us three reputation with Disciples of Anu. I don't care about the... New Jericho reputation. It does seem like it's only using the resources necessary to bring it up to the top. See, this Hephaestus only needs one and one, whereas this needs three and six. Okay, so then that's okay. We can't make this item already in queue. Oh, because these take time. Right, right. Okay, yeah, perfect, perfect. Okay, well, that's that mission. We Did we finish some research? No. Oh, but we can now uh, uh, do these additional researches. So let's take uh, this one we already had. This makes it more clear. A land vehicle useful both for reconnaissance and combat situations with a built-in medical facility. That's cool. Poison weapons. Synthetic toxins could prove very effective in combat situations. And this picture is of a grenade. So I don't know if it's guns that do poison or just grenades or both. An advanced nanotech. Right, so advanced nanotech, I don't need to read this, but the bonus effects are first damage of poison, virus, acid, and fire applied per attack is ignored. That's pretty neat. I am inclined to... I don't know about this, if leaving this. I'm inclined to... Actually, let's find out what all of these cost to do. Oh, look, we can get 500 apples from researching the Mindfragger egg. Oh, we could have done this before. You know, this is something we're going to need to do. We want this 15% bonus on uh, hatching sentinels. Although they haven't really been an issue. Cybernetics sounds amazing. This we know we want to do uh, if we like this shotgun, which I, I like the idea of having shotguns. Okay, we're going to do this. Oh, I think our queue is full. Okay, reverse engineering the Fury. We, we can't do this yet anyway. Okay, let's take a look at our queue. So advanced nanotech is one day, six hours. Okay, I don't care about that yet. Poison weapons. 
You know what? I'll decide in a minute. Aspida, this sounds really interesting, but we're not going to do it yet. Neurotoxins is interesting as well. I like the idea of actually having the Infiltrator class, but I want some quick... Wait, where's the Neurotoxin? Yeah, Neurotoxin... I don't know that this is as useful to us. No, we need it. We need it. We need it because I screwed our Infiltrator, Kirill, out of this accidentally. This is the way our research is going to go. We're going to stay on the Arachni for now. Okay, we're going to leave it here for today. That was certainly a very long episode. Uh, hopefully... I will find ways to cut the battle down because it took a very long time because we took a circuitous route. But thank you so much for your viewership and support. Please keep the comments coming. I love you very much. Please remember to have your pets spayed or neutered.